Right? Yes. Hooray. Joy. Is it real? Yes, it's real. Oh my god, it feels good to be back. It's been a hot fucking minute. Um... Lots going on. A lot has happened. Uh... A lot's changed. I am still Riza. Um... I don't know, let's play some video games and I'll describe it as we go along. Right now we're playing some Dark Souls 3, in case you thought this was Splatoon! It's Dark Souls 3, and um... Oh yeah, I gotta link this in the Discord. It's the thing I do every stream, like what am I forgetting? That's how long, guys. I gotta at everyone. And we are back. Enter. And then I post it, and then I put it down there, and then it's alive. And then that's a thing. There we go. Now it's- now it's posted. Now it's in there. And of course I started a Dark Souls stream at 10 fucking 30 p.m. Did you think I would be sensible, my dude? Why would I? Are you out of your mind? We're gonna new game plus this shit. It's gonna be so good. Let's fucking go. Here we go. It's unkindled ash, guys. It is the protagonist. And here we go. Oh, and for those of you that are Souls fans, here's the build. This is clearly a Soul level 120 meta build. I'm all about fair PvP, right? I don't ever go over the level cap of 120, ever. I will never do that. How dare you presume that I would? Uh, it looks like a quality build of everything from Endurance down to Dexterity. Um, that was just for weapon versatility, more than anything else. Um, 60 int, just so you know, it is an int build. It is a lot of fucking fun to play. Uh, I've been helping a lot of friends play on their files with this one, and somehow I made it to level 165 on one fucking new game. So, uh, I decided let's just, uh, let's just do this on stream. I can play Dark Souls in my sleep, right? And this is my character. This is, this is, this is my her. She wears the, the, the dancer's armor. And fucking Dust Crown, you have to. Magic Clutch Ring, you got to. Bellowing and Young Dragon Ring, you got to. Sage Ring, you don't got to, but I did it. I did it, son. Scholar's Candlestick for casting, Moonlight Greatsword, because it's the fucking Moonlight Greatsword. Uh, Quartz Sorcerer Staff for the same fucking reason. I have some basic stuff here. Pretty simple. Should be a lot of fun. I have a bunch of weapons that I have plus 10 I will be switching things in and out. It shall be a blast. Let's fucking do it, kids. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god. I... Honestly, can't remember the first time I played this game. That's how many times I fucking played this game. I can't remember my first run down here. A proud paladin. Oh, so they improved the soul drops in a new game plus. I forgot about that too. Sick. Okay. Everything's going down in one hit, but this is like my strongest sword, and I kind of want to put this on just to see how much health these guys have. There's no dog here. Okay. Oh, so less than 200. Okay, they're pretty damned weak, even on New Game Plus. Let's put on a Handmaid's Dagger, <laughs> just to see how weak they are. Where'd I put that thing? There it is. Uh, I did that out of instinct and not out of intention. 
So they have like 150 health. Okay. Mind you, these are like the beginning guys of the game. This is supposed to have like low, but this is even like for new game, it's shockingly low. It's a fun one. It's a fun. I like the moonlight. I haven't used it in a while. Let's go with this big boy. Over here, we are going to fight this big crystal bitch. That was a nice try. Did your daughter teach you that move? Word? Ow, that hurt. Stamina management, guys. It's the whole game. Ooh, my, my pros broke you. Broys broke you? I pros broke him. I poised is broke, guys. Nice clean kill. There we go. Of an intrepid hero. Oh boy. I don't even know how much that's gonna give me. That's fantastic. What does it take for me to level now? 200,000 almost? Okay, got it. There we go. Let me toss a quick heal. There we go. Oh, and I have the simple says this just for fucking FP regen. On my super meta, very by the book build that is incredibly bookish and by the by of the book of the build and the by. First bonfire, baby. That was a little early, maybe. Come on. There we go. That only took three tries. I got it. I fucking got it, though, son. It's been a little bit. It's been a, it's been a tiny bit since I played. I'm trying to I'm trying to get back into the swing of it. There we go. All right, I can parry scrubs. I got it. Quick little baby heal there. Back to my simple sastis in the half hand. There we go. There we go. We're overdoing it for fucking Udex Gundir, guys. I'm over worrying about this fight. I have to have full HP and FB. It's very important. I will do bad in industry. I will do bad in life. I will be a terrible husband if I do not approach this fight with full FP and health. Just the kind of player I am, apparently. I don't know why. It's not healthy, guys. Don't do that. Just, just play Dark Souls. It doesn't have to be perfect file. No perfect files, guys. I don't even have to get this. I, like, as I'm saying it, I'm doing it. You don't have to do it perfect. And then, like, I have to pick up everything. I have to do it, guys. It's the only way. Got it. Let's see if I can parry, uh, Udex Gundir. It's been a minute. But let's see. Jonathan! Gabriella! I will read in a second. I am too busy hurting this ball. Oh my god, that took out so much health. Ow. Can I parry you? Ooh, I can! Oh, hold that shit, sir! What did you think this was? It's okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna Death Star you. I got the Coiled Sword. 
Raisin are evil, especially grapes. Correct. Also, hi. How are you guys doing? What is going on, Gabby and Sean? I meant for that to rhyme because I commit the crime and the reason is mine and if you buy slime then on a dime you will uh, listen I am the hippest of the hops but also what is up guys it's been a fucking minute how the hell have all of you been incoming Gabby paragraph which I welcome Oopsie. There we go. Okay. Am I saying, oh, oh my god, I almost missed this this wonderful rock over here that I thought was an item for half a second. There we go. Broken straight sword. Listen, you need that. That's the best weapon in the game. The non-weapon weapon. These guys over here that I super don't need to kill. Maybe I prioritized? Prioritized? Pejorivized. Listen, I, perver I pejorivated it wrong. Excuse me? Well, it took a bit, but this is Sparta. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why that, uh... That had such a comical Looney Tunes, uh... Not falling, falling thing going on there. That was amazing. Feel very good today. How about you? I have been great the past two days. I was actually trying to stream yesterday, and then my brother came over, and then I started watching fucking The Witcher. On Netflix, which, by the way, is awesome. <laughs> it's fucking great. I really like that show. And I got caught up in it, and it's like 10 o'clock, and I'm about to crash, and I'm like, you know what? I should do a stream, even if it's short. Just to let you guys know, like, I can now and then. Like, I have found the time. There is a balance these days for me. Suck it. There we go. Like, I have found something of a balance. I have found something of, uh... I've made sense of all the chaos going on, man. Found, uh, found a routine and everything. It's, it's going well. Good, Gabby. Real good. Oh, but can I fight Master Weeb himself? Oh my god, Gabby, there's a Master of Weebness over there, and I have to use my fighting prowess to fight his fighting prowess in the Weebness of the fightings. Every day, all day, over there, he's gonna move and you're gonna see him. He's there right now, right? In his Bushido stance. But listen. They just don't fight fair. Alright, let's see what this bitch had. Uchigatanda, Master's Attire, Master's Gloves, that sounds good, bro. Yo, it's good for you, dude. Yeah, you had your own, like, family sword and stuff? That's fucking sick, bro. I'm taking it. Thanks, bro. The East-West Shield. Oh, boy. Turn off the moonlight. Let me, let me, let me mess with some Aquamarine right now. Let me have some fun. I like this weapon. Ow. That's right, regular dagger move set, and then when I use the weapon art, oopsie, I have to two-hand it. Then I use the weapon art, it becomes a fully sized sword with cool attacks and stuff. I never really got the hang of that weapon, and I want to. How wonderful! Thank you, Gabby. I'm trying, man. Shit's been, uh, shit's been tough. Uh, for those of you who don't know, all three of you in chat, um. My mom has cancer, and, uh, me and my brother have both been helping her with that, um, it's not easy, it's, it's also not as hard as I thought it would be, uh, probably because it's like the early stages of chemo, um, in the beginning it's, it's, it's fairly harmless and she's responding well to it, but I was imagining like a nightmare situation where she was constantly sick and puking and, like, like Walter White from Breaking Bad, like, pissing blood every day, and that's thankfully not the fucking case, um, everything's okay. Uh, we found a routine, we got her to listen to some reason and not argue with us all the time about what she needs to do for her health, and she's had a lot of family support, a lot of people come to visit her, so she's she's pretty happy. Uh, things are going pretty well so far. Um, everything's good on that side. All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. Gabby, I love this game. I am not 
of Corlan. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child corpse. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. That is Ludlith of Corland. So, now, now. I'll tell you some backstory about this game, Gabby, that will make you like it, hopefully. So, this is Firelink Shrine, right? In every Dark Souls game, there is a Firelink Shrine. In this game, it happens to be like a monastery keep type thing, or a shrine, if you will, but like... <laughs> so... The way this game's this way this game works is you get items and as you find items you read the description of the item like this it'll tell you a little bit about the lore you get like a paragraph of story at a time and you have to figure it out yourself dagger fitted with an aquamarine crystal engraved with the prayer of the old tongue to ward off inci incident really perhaps it was part of gift given your great travels. I mean, this is a DLC item, doesn't really count. Legendary tra dragon weapon associated with the Seath, the Pale Drake. Charged strong attack to its limit to unleash Moonlight Wave. Isiris consumed King was infatuated with the search for Moonlight, but in the end it never revealed itself to him. Like, you get little bits of story here and there throughout the game, where they explain stuff to you. And you kind of have to figure out what's going on and who's doing what. Um, I dig it. A lot. <laughs> I really like it because they give you very little explanation. In the first game, you find out that humans and, and everything else are hollows. They're like these zombie guys I've been killing over here. They're like absurdly skinny. Show me a corpse of a zombie guy that I've been killing. Like like m like malnourished skinny, as you can see. Um, ridiculously comically skinny. And that's what all sentient life is in this world. And when you get souls, which is like something you get when you kill somebody, it's like... It's a combination of money and power. Like experience points and money in RPG terms. When you get them, they make you stronger, and you can use them to basically level up. Um, with souls came different races. There were humans, there were giants, uh, there were dragons, which is a whole thing. And in the first game, uh, Gwyn is the Lord of Cinder. He is a god. He is the first of men uh, to fight against the, the dragons who ruled over the world. Uh, and he linked the first flame, meaning he created fire and kept it alive by letting it burn him alive as fuel. Because he was powerful, the fire could use him as fuel, and that became a Lord of Cinder. So you come into the third game, and over there is a throne in the Firelink Shrine. Which is fucking new for Firelink. There usually aren't thrones in here. And then you see three thrones. And you see five thrones. And they're odd. Because they're not all the same size. They're not addressing different kinds of ranks. There's no rhyme or reason. That thing's got some, like, some tarp on it over there. Some weird red tarp. There's a guy sitting on that one there. There's a big high one, which means it's, like, the big guy throne. There is a huge one here for someone with an enormous ass. And over there is this weird one that's, uh... It's hard to see from far away, so let's get closer. This one is for the Abyss Watchers, I believe. Swords all over the place. On a plain stone dais throne. Next to this huge throne. Next to that one. And there's someone sitting there on one of the thrones. And his name is Ludlith of Corland. And he tells you that I was a Lord of Cinder. I was linked. And he says, if transubstantiation be thy wish, look no further. Meaning, he has transubstantiated. Look look upon my charred corpse. My character looking thick. I mean, that's not by accident, Gabby! Woo! I wanted to make a mage, but I, I hated, like, mages and robes. I wanted to have armor. Why can't she be a battle mage with magic? You know what I mean? Like a fighter who can cast. That's what I made her, and she, she, woo, she thick! Let me, let me get the talk icon out of there. Ooh. No, 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 there we go. There we go, we did it, we did it. She fine, Gabby. But yeah, this game's story is really interesting. So he is a Lord of Cinder, and he's the only person on his throne. They're supposed to all be here 
and become fuel to keep the fire alive for the world. But for some reason, they did all the work it took to become a lord, and then they fucking quit. And only one guy showed up. And if you'll notice, the one guy that showed up doesn't even have any fucking legs. So, you don't even know if he showed up because he had to, because he wanted to, maybe somebody forced him to be here. And so you take a look around, and the first person you see, as is customary in every game, there's someone in the Firelink Shrine. In Dark Souls 2, it was a Firekeeper. No, it was the Emerald Herald. In this game, it's a Firekeeper. And uh, if we look closer at her appearance, she has these blue robes, but she has this bandana over her eyes. It's like a headdress. It's interesting, right? It's like a, it's like a headdress or a tiara right over her eyes. And there are no eye holes for it, so she's not like a fucking superhero like Batman or Robin or some shit. This is a choice. This is how she lives, bro. And she's here, and we talk to her, and she says... Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame, and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. The lords must be delivered to their thrones. Four of them have to be found, because one of them is already here. This is vibing her own way. Correct, Gabby, as is everyone in this game in their own creepy way. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. So, I read a lot of fantasy, so I, and I've beaten this game, and I've, I've done a lot of lore grinding, I know what it means. Um, so, you are what they call unkindled ash. You have the potential to become a Lord of Cinder. You have the ability to acquire what she calls sovereignless souls. Sovereignless souls means... Sovereignless means without a leader. And a sovereign usually means like a king. Um, monarch, specifically. Sovereignless means they don't have a king, meaning they have no master. These are just souls that can be taken by anyone. But you can become their sovereign. Uh, is what she's saying. Come to me and I will show you how. And then, instead of talk and leave, she gives you the level up option. She is your way to level up in this game. If you want to change, like, you, and you do it by raising your stats, you get stronger and stuff. And that's all quite boring if you're in here for a, a story perspective, but... Her job is to make all these people, because you're not the only unkindled Ash. Nobody knows if you're going to be that person that puts everyone back on their throne, that, that finds all these guys who had the strength to become lords and bring them back home like bitches. Uh, nobody knows if you're that fucking strong or if you're that determined or anything. But her job is to bring in everyone who is into that shit and level them up. Ashen One, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. I guess that's Ashen all she says for now. Farewell, May the flames guide thee. May the flames guide thee. So, in this game... Fire is a big deal... ...to humanity. Fire... Like, the world used to be plunged in darkness, and then... ...with fire came light, and with that came power, and that's how... ...humans became able to fight dragons and have their own world, and build kingdoms that look like that! All because of fire. So when she says, let the flames guide thee... She's like, remain loyal to humanity, man. Let the fire guide you. Let's follow the bonfires. You can t it'll take you back to me, man. We're gonna do it, bro. Are you bored, Gabby? Are you bored? Because this, this game story is actually pretty lit. And then there's this guy over here. There's three people in your immediate when you come in. It's Ludlith over there on his throne, and we're gonna talk to him in a second. But we're also gonna talk to Hawkwood over here. Ah, another one, roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And it have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. 
But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Don't you think? <laughs> So Hawkwood is unkindled ash like you, and he's like, oh, look, another one. And he is very discouraged. We're not fit to lick their boots. These people that belong on these thrones that we're supposed to bring back like fucking prison guards. He's like, dude, what are we supposed to do about this shit? They're way too strong. Also, my god, this music is loud. I didn't even realize. I guess I liked it when I'm playing it, but we're on stream, so I gotta, I gotta... I That is so obnoxious. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legends, those who would link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. <laughs> So a big staple of Dark Souls, Gabby, is every time you finish a conversation with somebody, they finish the conversation with creepy laughter. Uh, fun design choice. <laughs> and it's usually the characters who are doomed that do it. So we're going to go back to Lilith over here, who is the only kind person we've met so far. We met her, and she's like, Ashen One, it is my duty to help you with your sovereign souls and your sovereignless souls and your baking contests and such. You know what I mean? She's like a, she's like a sexy servant. She's, she's not a person to you. Uh, and you were over there, and he was just like, Oh, well, we're going to fuck this up, aren't we? Isn't, aren't we bad at our jobs inherently because we have an impossible job? But this guy over here is like, Oh, hi. I'm one of the people that's supposed to be here. And he offers guidance and... He's friendly, and I like him. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. For I am a lord, and this is my throne. Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast-fading flame must be licked preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. I love that line. I may be but small, Gabby, but I will die a colossus. So he is, uh, he is at peace with his purpose. He knows he's going to be kindling for the fire. Kindling is wood. What happens to wood in a fire, Gabby? He, he's okay with that, that he's going to burn up just so this, this world can have light. All these people that are weaker than them, that are squabbling, that are just alive, that they'll never know, that they'll never meet. He dies so they can live, and he is okay with it. And four out of five dentists apparently would not recommend, but, uh, this is the one out of five. No style of our so I may be now now do not be away over long. He's super nice and I like him. You following Gabby? I want you to because I know you don't like Dark Souls. I want you to see what I see in this game. So we see this lady over here, and that guy is a Dark Souls 1 institution, and we'll get into him in a minute, but this is this old lady sitting over here, and she, uh, she's not looking too great. She's got her eyes covered. She's wearing red, whereas that girl's wearing blue. But they, they also have, like, she seems like she was a firekeeper, you know? In a different time when they were edgier and more into blood and they watched The Matrix or something. It's a pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. 
Ashen One fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want, no? <laughs> Ashen one, if my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? <laughs> Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? You get souls from killing people. You basically feed off of their death. I get it. I get it. And she's like the first shop of the game. Firelink Helm. Don't I already have this on this character? Let me double check before I buy it. Before I, before I buy, Gabby. Let me make sure that I have it in my inventory. Firelink Helm. Okay, so I do have it. Sweet. So I don't need to buy it. I mean, hi, Pagesphere, what's up, dude? How the fuck have you been, sir? What's going on? It's been a minute, man. Hope you're doing well, dude. I'll take that tower key. And I think uh, that's all I'll probably need. Ashen Let's see how many souls this gives me. 2,000. Huge. Proud Paladin. Here we go. 500. Sick. Well, now, there's another ending I've never found. The gang is back! Right, Gabby? What's up, Blue? What's going on? Okay, no how are you? I'm fucking good, dude. I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm actually pretty good. Feeling great. Oh, my God. Are you talking... By the way, Blue, are you talking about the, uh... Usurper of Flame ending? The Lord of Hollows? Because there's Link the Fire, uh, Don't Link the Fire, um, Usurp the Fire, and um, Start Age of Darkness with the Fire Link Handmaid Girl. Those are the four endings, I believe, as far as I know. And this is Andre of Astora. Andre the Blacksmith. And he, l like, look at this fucking bro. Uh, I know we keep saying this, but I actually mean it. Blue, let's get jacked. Let's get jacked. Let's have rubbery muscles that don't look correct at all. And have this weird barrel-shaped body. And um, let's have a, a Zeus face and beard. Let's do it. This weird leathery texture to our muscles. I take it back. I want to be regular jacked, not Andre jacked. Why don't you give the Firekeeper eyes? Yeah, and then she you summon her at the end, and then she lets you begin an Age of Darkness. Let the fire fade. We're gonna do it! We are gonna do it! We're just not gonna become Andre. But Andre's a blacksmith. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder. Or simply rest at a bonfire. But should chance impel them break, bring them me. I'll hammer them back into shape. They take no pleasure in breaking, I assure ye. So handle them with care, if you would. See how he didn't do creepy laughter? It's because he's good people. He's a good guy. He's not going to sleep with your wife. You don't have to worry about him being in your house. You know what I mean? He's good people. See what I'm saying, Gabby? That's how you know. Gabby, don't sleep with people's wives. You have to stop it. It's not cool. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work. <laughs> yeah, me neither, bro. I've never broken it anything in Dark Souls 3. Uh, Gabby's gonna have a hard time choosing who to love. Yes! <laughs> 
Oh, this game fucks with your heart, bro. These games, man. It seems like they're setting you up for these noble knights, paladins, rogues, warriors, adventurers, one and all. Venturing through the land, gladiators of fate, fighting their way through towards their ultimate goals. Each one with a story, each one with a burning desire. And each one is going to break your fucking heart with how epic their tales do not end. So many of them, in fact, every one of them is tragic. It is ridiculous. This is the best of the best we're looking at right here. You see these thrones? These are the guys that beat everyone, that kill everything, and their job is to sit here and fucking burn. And that's what this game's about. <laughs> From a story perspective, it's really heavy. It, it, and you'll see, as we play through the game, uh, all these people are just trying to trying to get by, trying to find purpose in this world where we're undead and we're constantly dying and coming back to life at bonfires, which means the world is in chaos. The inability to die bothers people, because normally when people die, they die. But when people start dying and coming back, it means the fire is fading and it has to be linked. Someone has to become a Lord of Cinder. And being undead is a huge hassle. Nobody likes it. Because over time, you slowly lose your mind. You don't just die and come back to life. You're not like a perfect immortal or something like that. You die and you lose a little bit of yourself every time. Eventually, you become a hollow, where you're those crazy skinny guys and you're just raving, attacking things you don't think, you don't feel, you don't even remember who you are. Over time, if you're undead, you're going to become a hollow, and your only chance of not becoming a mindless hollow is link someone linking the fire, and then you get to die in fucking peace, and that's the only way out of it. And this is kind of a series about everyone trying to link the fire so they don't have an undead curse, so they can embrace death. People adventuring for an honorable death. That's what this fucking game series is about. And it's it's so heavy. Oh my god, Gabby. This is gonna fuck with you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, it's a... Game is so beloved in story. The story is really good, though. Like, it doesn't just do mean things to characters. It, they break your heart because they win you over with love and stuff, and then terrible shit happens. Uh i got to make some heavy life changes this year. I can feel it. Same, bro. I've already made some uh, the past few months with my mom, man. Uh, a huge change in perspective for me. I don't see things the same. I used I used to be a lot more lighthearted. I say that like I'm not now. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm like, guys, no more jokes. We're fucking done. No, no more. Don't ever admit... You'll never see me smile again! It's not like that. But uh, I feel you, dude. I got you. You're touchy, because we're going to be so jacked. Dude, we're going to be jacked as fuck. Fuck, bro. Oh my god, we're gonna- we're gonna put the coil sword in. There is a bonfire, you saw me rest at a bonfire before, but Gabby, this is the fire link bonfire. We're gonna put the coiled sword in there. This is the first time in a Dark Souls game is where you have to do it. This is kind of a big deal. You just created a bonfire. It's a little bit unprecedented. Tiny bit. Oh, they don't have an illusory wall here? Well, that's nice of them to just not put it there. That's that's cool. So now we're gonna go adventuring. We met everybody here, and it's time to go on our quest to link the fire. To the high wall of Lothric. Everyone you meet has a fantastic history, and they aren't just random bitches who attack. Yeah, that is correct. Everyone has, like, a story. Everyone has, like, a... Like a mission, you know what I mean? Um, they they have their own character. That it's it's so interesting. Like the, these games are fucking awesome, dude. I'm such a like I'm a huge fan. So we start here. Now, for people that are veterans of Dark Souls. It's weird to go from a bonfire to a place that isn't a bonfire. Where you're standing looks like it could have been a bonfire, but it's been... covered up. It looks like a pile of ash, which is basically what a bonfire is. It's a pile of ash on fire. But they've taken away the coiled sword, and you're in this closed room. There's banners on the walls, some kind of kingdom, there's a torn up emblem. Above it is a statue of... It looks gargoyle-like. Uh, it's got wings. The wings look angelic, but the face, I don't know. 
Looks a little deformed. It's got a crown. So that's their king. And that's their, their torn banner. And right behind you, with the light beam coming down on it, is the coiled sword. Resting upon what Dark Souls 1 fans know as the Lord Vessel. The Lord Vessel is an incredibly important item that lets you hold uh, very powerful souls so you can go to the Kiln of the First Flame and link the fire. Uh, it's here, and it's fucking broken next to a coiled sword. Fucking alarming if you're a Dark Souls fan. Like, <laughs> It's weird that one of the items you need to beat the game and make all things is broken and in the beginning of the game, and you're like, what the fuck, dude? Now, there are these little orange things on the ground that look like scratches, like bestial scratches, but they're actually writings, and that's messages either from developers, but 99% of the time it's other players. Friend required ahead. That's the that's a player. So we're going to open the door and go out into the world, Gabby. Rando boy chilling on the steps used to be part of the boss. We're going to meet a little later. Yeah, bro. He's disheartened because the Abyss Watchers kicked his ass. High Wall of Lothric. Now you see these castles in the background, Gabby? Here's a fun fact about Dark Souls, in general. These games, if you see a castle off in the background, if you see a temple, something like that, chances are you can go there. So, look at how big that is. We're gonna go there. Do you see all that? Do you see it? So if this is- if there's a kingdom and there's all those banners inside, this is that fucking kingdom. High Wall of Lothric. So we're on the High Wall of the Kingdom of Lothric. We go down the stairs, and there's a bonfire. And the, one of the first things you see is these fucking things. It looks like people. With wood feet. Reaching... up to that. Two of them are reaching that way. That guy's reaching that. They're all facing that castle over there. Something's going on over there, Gabby. So let's light this bonfire. And let's, let's dark some souls. Holy moly, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you, Gabby, this game is cool as fuck. You won't understand it the first time. The way they keep you hooked in the beginning is... Just the gameplay. It's just fun to play. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let me pick a fast weapon. Look at me with my straight sword and my wand. Like a G. So they're kind of like worshipping these things that are worshipping a castle. There are these statues of... Ah! Ah! No doggy! Bad doggy. Of what look like clerics or priests lighting candles for a vigil in eternal worship of this castle. Or someone in it? Woo! Get out of here. Don't know anything, doggy. No more worship, you're done. You're done! The world isn't a church, you can't just worship outside, alright? Obama wouldn't want that, guys. This is New Game Plus One. This is the first New Game Plus. I feel like this game is really loud. I don't know. It f it feels loud as fuck in my headphones. Tell me if it's uh, if you're having trouble hearing me over the fucking audio of the game, like when monsters are attacking and shit. I feel like it's loud as fuck. Barack Lothric, right? So we're just running around, Gabby. We're just adventuring, trying to figure out what's going on, right? You come over here. This guy's shooting fucking arrows at me, bro. Fuck this guy. Yo, fuck this guy. Oh my god, Gabby, what is that? What's going to- Oh, okay, all right, oh, okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay, okay, got it, all right, okay. That was cool, no, that was cool. I like it when you do horrible things to me that knock me down. It's my favorite when you do that. Lol and such, correct? Fuck that guy. I agree. Fuck that guy. I agree. I agree. Fuck that dude. Why you gotta be like that? Nasty monster, correct. K- Oh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna use my Death Star beam on everything. Sir? Sir? 
The church is over there. You can't do that out here in these streets. Sir. Sir. You're gonna need you're gonna need a hobby, sir. You can't do that out in public. It it makes the godless ones uncomfortable. And there's a longbow here. An archer of some sort died here. Fun. And then here's a big priest. It is it is not alive. Got it. So all these people are just out here, they're hollows. You, you see that? They're like super skinny. They're hollowed humans. And even though they've lost their minds, the only instinct they have is to worship the castle. Or their king in the castle. Who is one of the Lords of Cinder. So now we're going to go down to that castle. And we're going to make him do his job. Some of them are big. Some of them are small. All of them are... In different stages of dead. I've either killed them or I'm going to kill them. Does not open from that side. Okay. So I have to go around. That's right, that's right. High wall of Lothric. It's been a minute, Blue. BRB peeps. Got you, got you. Will you or will you not praise the sun? I will praise the sun. Oh yeah, because I don't have a proper helmet on. My lady gets, like, blood on her face. I forgot about that shit. Oh, and her eyes are purple and green. Because heterochromia is hot. Cool. These are all hollows, correct. I should probably not be running while I read chat. <laughs> yeah, these are all hollows. These people have, uh... They, they have been worshipping this guy for so long that it's all they really know how to do. Which is, uh, crazy. <laughs> but that, 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 them's the, uh, them's the work, them's the nuts. Well, I forget what the saying is. Them's the something. Shut up. Ooh, I pressed circle. You're out of your mind, bro. Also, why didn't I parry, Blue? Go to sleep. Good night. You're done. Get a job. Vote Quimby. Vote Quimby. I just watched The Witcher Dude on Netflix, uh, and I'm having trouble getting that fucking song out of my head. That show was awesome, by the way. I mean, I, I'm not surprised. The game was fucking awesome, too, and... Like, like specifically the writing of the game was awesome, so I'm not shocked that the, the show was awesome. I got them all, Blue. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Now I got them. I did it. Good series, watching a day. Yeah, same. I watched it all today. Like, the whole fucking thing. I didn't get them all blue. This is really needless. Like, uh, completely unnecessary. Toss a coin to your witcher. Your mother is pregnant. Or something else like that. Whoa-ho-ho! -ho. I thought I could free game with the rust blue. I thought I was cool. I thought I could just be like, wrong, and they would die. I was like, you know what, I'm really good at Dark Souls, I can just do that. I'll just do that. But fucking yeah, dude. Witcher was good. Witcher was real good. Witcher was way better than, uh, what a lot of people were saying. A lot of people were bitching about it. Um, they, they were expecting a better series or so. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's because I've played Witcher 3. Uh, thoroughly, that uh, I'm not, I'm not let down because I know where the story is going. I don't know if you played Witcher 3, dude. Did you? How have we never talked about Witcher 3? Oh my god, this just occurred to me. I don't think we've ever discussed it. Fucking love Witcher 3. Simplistic combat and all. I still fucking enjoy the shit out of that game. Did not play. <sighs> Highly recommend. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Never got the games. You just need to play three. Oh, my God. Uh, the writing is top-notch. It is an excellent stream game if you are not a PG streamer. <laughs> 
It is not a PG game, but it is very interesting. It is like the story is great. The quests are interesting. They're all thoughtful, um, really fun different look on fantasy very magic heavy which is great especially all, after all this game of thrones we've been subjected to for the last decade with uh which is low fantasy not a lot of magic going on there uh this one is very high fantasy uh i can't recommend witcher enough dude oh yeah fire weapons around barrels not a good idea can i target you you're not targets yet I love great swords and their incredibly wide swings. Firebomb. And what is here? Oh, that guy. Oh, that's where the dragon lands, right? There we go. That was my decision. And uh, not a misfire on my part. Little baby heal. Baby heal. Blue, I wish I could summon you right now, bro. But yeah, dude, I can't recommend... Get Witcher and get the DLCs with it. Get the complete edition. Uh, the DLCs are absolutely amazing. They are the best DLCs, in my opinion, that have ever been made. They put real time and work into these things. Each one of them is like a good one-fifth of a game. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's like what a DLC should be. It's well thought out. Uh, new storylines, voice actors, uh, like the whole works, the quests are, are like very well thought out. Hearts of Stone is the first of the DLCs, and it's, it's, it's pretty damn good. And uh, Blood and Wine is the best DLC I've ever seen made for a fucking video game. Set the new standard. If anyone is ever like, oh, it's a really good DLC, people will be like, was it like Witcher good with the DLCs? That's how good they were. Your mom is crowd control. Ooh, draggy. Let's see if I can free aim this spell. You ready, Blue? That wasn't that wasn't terrible, but it wasn't perfect. Right here? I mean, I keep getting him in the neck. I'm trying to get him in the torso. What, what, what? Why are you obsessed with shooting his face, my character? Hang, hang on, hang on, Blue. I got it. Again, with the face. Non-stop with the face. Must destroy the face. Must shoot the dragon in the face. Or completely miss. Alright, let's go back to the face. I'm okay with the face now. What is going on? Maybe I'm really bad at free aiming. I've concluded that I am. That was an epic shot there, bro. <laughs> I believe the term is cucked. I use dragon to kill mimic sometimes. Oh, word! Oh my god, I never even thought of that. How would you... Oh, but how? Oh, that, that, that... That love tapped his head there. Oops, wrong Estus. There we go. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm, I, okay, so I missed by a mile. So I got the dragon to fuck off, which is always fun. Proud Paladin Soul. Club, which is a good weapon. Ember, which is a good weapon. It's such a good weapon, Blue. And the Claymore. Okay. They'll chase you outside. Oh, right! You don't go down a ladder to him, you go down a staircase. I kept thinking there was two ladders going down there. So they'll chase you outside. Oh, okay. Sweet! 
Totally forgot there's a staircase right here. I was like, what, does the mimic go up the ladder? Are you lying to me? That makes sense. Alright, you're cool. I'm sorry for thinking that you were lying to me. Best aim. After having beaten the game so many times without an intellect build, it's actually delicious to be able to kill this thing so easily. It's it's funny to me. I'm sorry. It's it's hysterical. It, it trivializes everything. Best healing item in the game. Correct. Let's be ballsy, Blue. Let's go, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? On the latest episode of Bitch You Thought. How did you think it was going to go down, Gregory? Did you think you stood a chance? I have been rocking you since the dojo days. These fucking punk asses. <laughs> It's fun doing my restoration build while wearing items that hurt you and help you gain more souls. Restoration build? Oh, right. Um, was that Stephen Garber recommended that build, I think? He kept talking about it, I feel like. He was just like, no, the restoration build is the best one in the game. And if you don't agree, you're fucking stupid. And I was just like, calm down, Stephen. He was just like, praise Allah. It's that It's that big a deal. And I'm like, all right, relax, bud. It's, <laughs> it's, it's Dark Souls. <laughs> fucking chill, dude. That's the guy, yeah, Steven. I remember he was he was raving about his like faith restoration build. He kept saying it over and over. He's like, it's the best build in the game. He, he was like, hands down, bar on the best in the game. If you play another one, you're a fucking fag, man. If you play another build, you're a homosexual. You take penises in the butt. You smile when you do it, and you hate Jesus. I'm just saying, it's a scientific fact. If you just if you don't play that build, you're a fuck, you're a homo, all right? And you like shitting on the Bible because. If you play Dark Souls in a way that's different than the way I like, it is homosexuality. That's what it is. Also, you're a witch. Burn the witch. He was a, he, he was a fan. Is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> of that build. I love this spell. For the FP investment, it's just... You get so much out of that damn spell. Woo! 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 No. No. Fag, exactly. What do you lick penises in your spare time? What are you, a bad person who hates the Bible? What's wrong with you? Jesus would never abide by this, guys. Considering defense does nothing unless you can wear Havels without fat rolling. I mean, damage absorption is useful, not as useful as Vigor. <laughs> it's definitely nothing like it was in Dark Souls 1. It's definitely like a far sight from what it used to be. It used to matter. Defense really used to matter a lot. That's why I have like the latest piece of armor you can possibly get. I just wanted a wizard that didn't look like a fucking wizard. I like that I got to put her in the, the, the dancer's armor, you know what I mean? I, I like that it looks like an actual armor. Like, like she looks like a knight. I still need to beat one. You didn't beat Dark Souls 1? I feel like you beat Dark Souls 1. I feel like you're lying to me. You don't see shit. Turn back around. Oh. I don't need to I don't need to repost you, bro. Mailbreaker, that's right, that's what you get down here. And then Grey Rat is right here, I believe. Okay. 
Good to remember that. Okay. And then over there is the, the Dark Wraith down there, right? Scratter do what's going on? Good Morgan to you too, bro. What's up, Sebastian? How you doing, man? There's another story lol. I wish I had Oh dude, you don't have Dark Souls 1? Demon Souls wasn't so glitchy, that would have been nice. Oh, this oh I've never played Demon Souls, and I wish I had. I just never I never did, because it's a PS3 exclusive. Sad he can die on you. I mean Inevitably, he's gonna, right? If you keep sending him out on missions, he's, he's gonna die. Dark Souls 1 on Steam. Oh shit, man. We gotta play, bro. Also, I need to get that on Steam. Do you have 1 or do you have the remaster of 1? Very important question. Do it. Ka me ha me ha I did it. I saved Goku, bro. I did it. Oh, I forgot about that fatty. That's a pretty creepy area that I've never really examined thoroughly enough, I don't think. I'm gonna have a fun when I get down there. I'm gonna have a lot of a fun. I'm going to have a so much fun. You can get on that roof there? How have I never gotten onto that roof, Blue? There's an item there. There's a fucking item right there! Blue! How have I never gone up there? Are you serious with this? Bro! One, no remaster, though I'm considering it on Switch. I have it on Switch, it's actually pretty- it runs really well. Wing Knights, oof! Yup ha ha, yup ha ha indeed! Sebastian! He went to sleep. He went to Sweden. He went to his hot spring, that's where he went. Oh, I forgot about you. Boom. Great swords. With that wide ass one handed swing, bro. Love it. I could do all the extended stuff here first and fuck up this speared Lothric Knight. First, let me take out all these guys that exist to fuck my shit up. That was a perfect roll. Ah, oh, fuck blue. I missed you, buddy. How you been? Like how you been? Like how how you been doing? How have you been doing? How have you been doing? I like to use crystal magic weapon on executioner sword because it gives me FP on kill. I can parry you. Or just beat the shit out of you. That works. 
What's my AR with this? 634, that's pretty good. Alright. Do you guys say sweet dreams instead of sweet? This too, man. I've been finally feel hopeful about the future. It's peculiar. I'm glad to hear that because I am too, bro. And it is weird. It's fucking weird as shit. Because you, you're like, oh my god, I've been holding me back <laughs> with all of this. Well, that'll never happen. <laughs> you're like, that was the problem this whole time. Doubt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird feeling to have confidence in yourself again, man. I know what you're talking about. I'm, uh, I'm dealing with something a little similar. Yeah, literally, it was telling yourself, no, I can't. And it's like, that that was it? <laughs> One word? No. I was like my own bitchy ex-girlfriend? No. No, you can't. No. You can't achieve your dreams. Dreams are bad. Bad things are bad. Don't do bad things. Like, go to dreams. And you voted for Barack today, right, babe? Because if you didn't, I'm I'm never blowing you. Blue. Blue, and I, I know you know what I'm talking about. Blue Hemoth. My boy. Let's switch it up. I'm having fun with these different weapons. It's, uh... Crystal Sage Rapier. Oh my goodness, this will be hilarious. You there. Fuck with me. Well, I asked for it. Did you think you could, actually, sir? Fuck with me? Just just saying. I'm 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 a little bit good at this game. What a weird and weak moveset that I don't like. No wonder I never use this fucking thing. Um, Onyx Blade! That's uh, basically a greatsword. Um, oh man, these broken straight swords I need to get the fuck out of my inventory. <laughs> Dragon Slayer Great Axe, I never use this fucking thing. I use it on my faith build a few times, it's pretty good. Oh, we can get Grey Rat Blue! Let's do it! Let's save our friend. He's so kind. He is, in fact, so kind that he's the only person in all of the Souls games that Patches actually likes. Look at me looting all this stuff like it's my first time. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. We did it. Back upstairs. To go back downstairs! Because I forgot a thing. And I can't leave anything behind, Blue. We don't leave nobody behind. Nothing. Oh, fuck, man. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. I'm answering the question you didn't ask out loud. I don't know why I waited until 10 p.m. to stream. I don't know. I had energy all day. I could have done it all day. I don't know. Listen, I don't have all the answers. And I only have 12 of the questions, but I don't know. I just, I just did, alright? I just did, so I'll just, just get over it. I just did. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> oh, I should be enchanting this in combat. Sweet. Oh, man. Can I go back for Grey Rat right now? In this... I have to go up this ladder... Yeah, I can go back. That's right, I'm right here. By the way, tell me, Blue, these things you're feeling hopeful for. I didn't actually ask. What are they? In relation to? 
because I am legit curious if you're willing to say on stream, inside of this stream, with allegedly five people watching and none people talking, which makes me feel like none people watching. So basically nobody's going to ever hear this. That's all I like about my stream, being small. It's like we can just, we can just, we can just chitty chat. Because we could be gaming and having fun, but also when, when it winds down, we're tired, I can be like, abortions, am I right? We need these stem cells to improve our showers. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the fell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town, not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? Say, I say stay. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. Oh, he gives you the blue tear stone ring. I forgot about that shit. Oh, blue, you're working, aren't you? And I'm getting invaded! Hello, Joe Knight. Intense focus. Good game, bro. I don't do a whole lot of PvP, but for some reason, find myself watching it a lot. I watch a lot of, like, Scott Jund and Chase the Bro at work, so I, kn I knew a little bit. <laughs> about the mechanics of it. That was cool. My phone lost consciousness for a moment. Sick. How you doing, Joe Knight? Welcome. Do you like Dark Souls 3? I imagine you do. What is up? Blade summoned through the Concord. Nah, bro, I got it. I got it, bro. You can go home. Have some, have some Skittles. Drink some Slurpees. You can chill, bro. I got it. Well done. Thank you, man. I, uh, I have put a lot of fucking hours into playing at least PvE, so I would hope some of it would carry into PvP. Several introspective trips to get past myself. I'm glad to hear it, bro. Ooh! 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 That was not nice. Why you gotta be like that? We could have just been homies, not knowing each other. Not fucking with each other, just letting me fuck your king up and shit. Homies, bro. Homies. We could have been. Homies for life. Pals for the ever. Oh, right. Let me, let me, let me just for no reason enchant my weapon to hurt this guy. There's no need. There's no need for this. Let me do it, bro. Me that ass. Mm. 
Got him. I never really took a look down here to examine this. Obviously, it's like a mass grave for a bunch of knights. Uh, presumably made by the winged knight himself. So there was some infighting. That looks kind of like a... Well, not like a slave knight, but the head is covered. Eh, that's no, a Lothric knight. With their heads cut off. And that guy's holding a bay halberd that could be used like a headman's axe, so... I guess this guy made this, uh, his little revolt over here and fucked everyone up, except this one guy who was playing dead. That I always forget about, literally every time I come down here. Did you jump to that roof? Man, I love PvP and Bloodborne. I did not jump to that roof, you're right. Poochie, what's up? How's it been, man? How you going? How you doing, Pooch? It's been a while, hun. Yeah, I play a good pit. My PvP is subpar. My PvE is fair. My PvE is pretty good. My PvP, I've been told, is good. Uh, working on parries. And I don't play a whole lot, but um, I play with people who play a whole lot, and they're like, dude, for someone who doesn't play this game, like, for the PvP, because usually I quit out like a pussy, and then watching these guys who play PvP, like, like, um, fucking, like, Ouroboro, uh, fucking, who's that other guy who plays with? Peeve, uh... I forgot the name of the other guy they play with, Lucas, Yukas Legion or something. He has a name, I'm sure. Um, you know, like Chase the Bro, Scott Judd. Like, I started watching these guys and the way people would bitch when people would disconnect like I used to. So I was like, fuck it. What do I lose, really? Do I lose, what, a fucking ember? Look at how many I have. I'll be fine. If I want more, I can just buy them. Who cares? And uh, I got better, dude. And it's fun. It's actually fun to be good at PvP. Um, because just watching people play makes you better. Like, watching people who are good at PvP do PvP makes you better at PvP. I have to say PvP three more times uh, before this sentence is over. PvP. I missed. I did it. That was my plan. I did it. I have... I have the ring. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I did it right the first time in the first playthrough of the first time of the first playthrough. Also, I can't find the ring, because I'm, I'm very smart. That's the mark of a good Dark Souls player. Don't you ever forget it. Listen to me. If you can't find your rings, that's how you know you're too good at this fucking game. Remember that, okay? Okay, Joe Knight? Don't ever forget it. Just eh, what about you? I'm pretty good, Poochie. I hope you're more than just eh soon. Hello, Valdide Alves. What's going on? It's a gato. You're a gato. And it's pronounced gato. Si. Pero que si. Yeah, I missed. Listen, listen, listen. I'm really good at Dark Souls. I was in the Olympics of Dark Souls. Uh, when there was a United Nations conference about Dark Souls, I was involved in the conversation. And that is why this is all an illusion and I made that jump. And you're seeing it wrong because you're racist and you hate America. Um, I'm, I have made the jump four times now. Uh, you're just seeing what you want to because you're one of those crazy people. You know, you're, you're, uh, you're multiple personality, you're delusional, you have, um, hallucinations, and that's why you're not seeing me on that roof right now. I didn't even know fuck you. Oh my god, this game has been out since, like, 2016. I did not fucking know you could go there. It's kind of mind-fucking me. <laughs> and making for the best gameplay! Our tactics improve by watching others. Yeah, it really helps a lot, Joe. Like, significantly. Like, you learn spacing and stuff, you learn timing, you learn ha habits that most players have. You also realize that most, place most players are just as scared as you. Like, when that guy hit me, the first time I knew he gets a free second hit, right? So I stood there, but after he hit me, I rolled into him, I made it, by the way. Uh, many times. You're just, you're, because you're racist, you didn't see me make it many times. Um, but yeah, like, he's, I rolled into him, and that kind of fucked with him. Like, he got scared, and he started running away. Because most players expect you to try and run away if you get hit. But, um... You learn stuff like that, just watching really good players play. So I, I recommend it. Like, if you want to work on your PvP, watch some... Chase the Bro is a good one to watch, because he, he just posts content constantly. Like, every day he'll post a Dark Souls video. And it's, he's really good at the, the mind game of PvP. Scott Jones is a guy who plays in... I didn't even know this existed. The National Dark Souls PvP Tournaments? Didn't even know that was a thing. And uh, he's really good, too. Um, I, I highly recommend watching them. Oh my god. There we go. There's this guy. Who's protecting that guy? Who's protecting the back door? And there's a gay joke in there somewhere that's good. There are five 
good, I mean, crappy backdoor jokes that are gay that you could make. But there's one good one in there somewhere. My soul is telling me this. And I fucking, I can't think of it. And it's bothering me. Also, I'm playing on PS4, in case you guys were wondering, and you're more than welcome to join. Or fuck, even try to invade. Let's have some fun. We're gonna fuck with each other. Let's fuck with each other. Let's have some fun, man. Let's go. Watching all these people play PvP, unless you're better than me significantly and are gonna kick my ass every time, then you can't PvP me, it's cheating, and I'm telling Obama on you, I'm telling my dad, and my dad's gonna call his dad, and all of our dads and Obama are gonna beat you up, alright? Don't you dare be better than me at this game, piece of shit. Fuck you. How dare you? How could you even think of it? Ooh, he did the thrust, and not the slash. That was two successful parries, I rolled away... Oh boy. Oh boy. What do you mean I'm in minus frames after a hit? Maybe I should open the back door shortcut before I start fucking with knights and parries. I'm still shitty. What's going on, Pooch? Talk to me. What's up? What are you shitty about? Are you, like, post-drunk? Um, are you tired? Um, oh, a friend of mine did this thing once. She, uh, she tried to get really aggressive in the bedroom with her boyfriend, so she tried to, like, fit his whole dick in her mouth, like, immediately without warming it up or anything like that, and it made her throw up, and she was like, I've been in a mood all day, and I'm like, oh, so that's a thing. Did you do something like that? Like, what's going on? Are you okay? What is up? I took a poop today, and it didn't agree with me. I was feeling shitty. We can talk about bowel movements and, and blowing people and, 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 and cake not tasting good and all kinds of shit. It's fine. This is the stream that nobody in the world will see except literally us. It's not like I'll say this and they'll be like, Oh my god, but touchy is on Twitter! Motherfucker uh, said things like motherfucker and also made a blowjob joke with one of his mods. How dare he? That is disrespectful. Like, nobody... nobody. Nobody, no, nobody's gonna see this. Chase, Lost, and Fighter PL. I don't know who Fighter PL is. Also, who is Lost? I feel like I know who Lost is, but I don't know who Lost is. So we call Brute Force, correct? Could someone drop items in Souls for me in Dark Souls 3? What do you need? Like, what items? Because um, I'm in my new game plus, and I'm just gonna be getting duplicates of everything, so I'm, I'm more than happy to give you shit. Like, I don't, I don't need most of this. And if you want soul items, I'll fucking, fuck it, I'll give you soul items, I don't give a shit either. You get so many more souls killing people on fucking New Game Plus that it doesn't even matter. Yesterday's my birthday. No shit, Blue! Really? Happy birthday, man! Fuck, man! Dude! How come you didn't tell me to be like, by the way, today's my birthday, buy me shit! Dude, happy fucking birthday. Dude, we gotta do something. We fucking have to do something. Let's fuck. Ooh, that'll be fun. Let's do Great Lansing. But dude, let's fuck. Kidding, not kidding. Let's fucking... We got, I'm, I'll think of something for us to do. I will think of something. But fucking happy birthday, bro. What's my favorite weapon? That's a toughie. Um, on this character, I would definitely say Moonlight Greatsword, just because I'm comfortable with Greatsword moveset. All around in the game? I don't know, dude. I, I like a lot of weapons. Like, I just made a Dex character a few months ago. I was really enjoying it. Um... Using Cell Swords Twin Blades a lot was fun. Um, I still haven't fucked with Frida's Great Scythe and the Aquarine Dagger enough. I want to, because I feel like I'd really like them. Um, I don't know, I'll have to get back to you on that. I have to, like, go to my inventory in the bonfire and take a look at the weapons and I'll be able to tell you. Like, just looking at the image will be able to help me remember. Lance vs. Lance, bro, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Round one, me. Round two, me. All rounds, me, bro. It's the Great Lance, baby. Fucking love this thing. Come here. It's gonna be funny. That was funny, but not the funny I wanted. <laughs> I thought I had enough time to fully charge an R2 between parries. Don't ask me why. Listen. I don't have all the answers. Just a lot of the stupidity. Great Lance is fun, especially with friends. Uh, you guys, I recommend it. You get it in Lothar Castle. 
get the Great Lance, fuck with it. I have a Crystal Great Lance, it is very nice. Oh, and for those of you wondering what the build is, it's an int build. It's got, um, 20 in a lot of stats, so I could pick up as many weapons as I want and just put a Crystal Enchantment on it. But, uh, it's, it's an intellect build. And it's not like a PvP build where it's, like, optimized at, like, 120. I'm, this is a, this is a PvE character, I'll level it up to fucking 5,000 if I feel like it. I'm not, uh, I'm not concerned with the meta. I'm just trying to play some Dark Souls. And this is New Game Plus One. And you're wondering why I didn't put that in the title and description. Well, if you look at my title and description, you'll realize that I like nonsense in my title and description. Uh, which I'm starting to realize for some games is a bad idea, but I don't care. Dark Souls, baby. And this guy's looking at his fallen daughter. Or his gay lover. I'm sorry Gregory left you. Woo! Woo! Ooh. Oh my god, oh, the reach is ridiculous. That's what she said, but seriously. Loth Organic Gauntlets. Go over here. Say what's up to this guy. Started playing a few days ago. Oh, no shit. Um, pick a zone to come into, um, or just go where I am. I'll summon you and I'll just drop you a bunch of shit, dude. It's not a problem for me at all. What about you, Joe, by the way? Joe, what's your favorite weapon? I didn't even ask you. I was supposed to return that. I'll be left tomorrow. Let's fuck. Let's fucking... You You, you joke, Blue. <laughs> you say that, and you'll be like, hold on, guys, someone's on my door. And then I'll just be standing there with nothing but a condom on. Like, like did you don't... Listen. <laughs> Um, it's not, it's not even that, like, I'm gay for you, it's just, I don't know how to lose a chicken. Let's go, fucker. Let's go. Let's do it. You, you think, you think we're not gonna fuck? Birthday sex? Are you get well, I'm gonna play Jeremiah the whole time. Uh, Seltzer is my favorite for a long time. Mad those dudes in, forgot where, clang their stores for a fire attack, but I couldn't. That night don't play. Your night don't play. Accidentally left on. We'll get, like, banned. You'll, you'll, you'll get your account banned and it'll be like, P.S. Uh, nice dick, both of you, by the way. Also, you're both quite handsome. And you know what? You should get jacked. Sincerely, Steven Wo Susan Wojcicki, Susan Wojcicki, uh, Wajaliski, what's her name? Wahiski? My whiskey. You know, Susan. I can go here and sneak attack this guy who tries to sneak attack me. I don't know why I know this. I just know that I do. This might be overkill. It was worth it. I also heard that the Great Lance is a ridiculously good PvP weapon if you learn how to use it. Um, it's that she's lying to protect the castle. I mean, that's her job, baby. Drake look at her and buffing it with sunlight blade. Can't even spell her name. Well, I forget her name. Lol. Um, Drake blood. You can buff Drake blood. It's 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 not uncommon. I mean, it's 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 not unprecedented, but it is generally uncommon for uh, a weapon with elemental damage to be able to be buffed. So that's cool. It's fucking. I didn't know you could do that shit. That's awesome. So we are going to cast our Death Star spell on this guy, and we will summon... By the way, if you guys want to play, I'm on PS4, and I'll summon people. I don't give a shit, it'll be fun. Uh, I'm going to summon this random, and then I'll summon... Oh, Swordmaster's an NPC. We don't summon NPCs out here in these streets, son. Unless it's story-related, son. Fuck with me. Get at me, son. Let's go. First, I'm going to keep my euphemism weapon out to win his respect when he's summoned. And then I'm going to praise the sun in front of him. Because I want this random to like me. Okay, guys? You can't just summon people. You have to be liked and respected. But well, you have to act like you don't care. But I'm too cool to act like I don't care, bro. It's cooler to not be cool. Listen to me, guys. I want him to... Yes. 
He's going to come in. He's going to come in. Somewhere. Right there. I'm a little I'm a little close. Invisible Phantom. Hello, Invisible Phantom. So my phantom's laggy. Oh boy. This should be uh this should be hilarious. Gotta kick about fifty pounds and just get ripped. Tyrannosaurus flex, right bro? Oh, do I have to go all the way to the fucking door to do this? I do, don't I? Oh wait. Put on my sage ring for faster casting during a boss fight. I think he's mad. He might be a little bit mad. I feel like I rolled. I swear to god, if I die on fucking Fort of the Boreal Valley. Also, where's my summon? Are you... Are you serious right now, bro? Oh, I died on Vort. Cause, listen, because I'm too good at the game. I had to die uh, instead of touch a bonfire since I came to the zone. Because I wanted to teach you guys uh, about uh, poverty. Okay, guys? Poverty is everywhere. It's destroying destruction itself. It's really bad. And uh, you shouldn't do it. Don't do poverty. It's the worst drug there is. Okay? That was a lesson on poverty. Now let's go kill the boss. Where am I? <laughs> oh, I'm at this bonfire, right. <laughs> That's how on autopilot I was. It's a trap, your mom's a trap. I think I've pondered it, but I don't know how Vorton Dancer got so twisted. You had no Estus, your mom had no Estus. Uh, your mom's a lol. But, um, Vorton Dancer got twisted because they're, they're, um, Erythelian knights, and Pontiff Sullivan is more than happy to turn them into these twisted beings. Uh, and obviously Erythel is at war with Lothric if he, if they're sending people here to fight. And, um, also they did poverty. The guys don't do poverty. If you do poverty, you're gonna be, you're gonna be an Erythel, you're gonna be an outrider knight, and that's not good. Uh, none of the boys will kiss you if you're not right or night. All of the bad things in the world will happen to you. Um, Prince will not return your phone calls if you're not right or night. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. I could I could kill him, but listen, that would make me an outright or night, and I'm not going to do poverty. See that guy? He, ah! <laughs> Just did poverty. <laughs> I'm out here in 2020. I'll see you in hell, bro. <laughs> You're playing DS3? I'm playing DS3 ELC. What's up, dude? You wanna play? You're more than welcome to join. What's going on, dude? I know I never fucking play DS3. Not on stream, anyway. I play a shitload of DS3, just never when I'm streaming. And I don't have a good reason for that. I tried to roll, but I had no stamina. Amina. That don't matter. Lothric Knight Sword. Funny how none of this drops in your, like, the beginning of your first playthrough, when you need drops. Nice stamina there, bro. Let me use, uh, let me use one of these babies. I have Embered up. Are you on PC? This is PS4, baby. RNG, this is unforgiving. He is. Who comes some lovelies up in this? Correct, son. But yeah, no. If you want to play PS4, you can. But if you're one of those filthy PC people... Dude, do you have a PS4? I've played Bloodborne with you. Join me, bitch. 
<laughs> the fuck I was like, if you if you happen to be one of those gifted souls that has a piano. Wait a second, dude. <laughs> PS the oh for PC and Xbox One. Oh, why do you have an Xbox One? You're a bad person, and um, uh, the country hates you. Uh, because you, you fucking why 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 would you not have it on the platform that I have it on? Oh, let me get that that blood stain with a hundred and like ninety thousand souls. I really don't need to use that spell. I don't know why I'm doing it. Woo! Nice butt, bro. Can I cast on it? Okay. That's fair. You missed me! Blue, I died on fucking Vort of the Boreal Valley. I don't feel redeemed at all. <laughs> that was not okay. Why did I do that? Am I like a bad person? Was I like trying to usurp my father or something? Like, why would I do that? Well, what does it take for me to level? 192,441. So I'll use one of these. Fuck. Two more of these, and I'll have it. Uh, I can't. I need a new PS4. Oh, bro, you need a new PS4? What happened to your PS4, bro? Uh, Forza, which NG Plus are you on? I'm on the first New Game Plus. Uh, let me go back and level up real quick before I go to the next area. In fact, let me go to the next area and then go to fucking Firelink. What's wrong with me? Let's go over here and have these gargoyles take me to Jesus. I forget what happens, how you transition. You raise the banner and then the gargoyles take you to Jesus? Dang, Vort hits hard for some reason. New, ga new game plus one, bro. It's just because I don't have a lot of defense on this armor. It's the dancer's armor. It's very low absorption. And also, I mean, they're supposed to hit hard in new game plus, right? They're bosses. Sold it early 2019 to afford rent. Oh, fuck, man. That sucks, bro. I hope you got a decent price on it, at least. That fucking blows. Ready for more panchos. Sick, bro. At least you sold the console and not the PC. That's what matters. PC is the real shit, bro. Oh, it is gargoyles. I was right. With my dancer's armor and my blue butt. Look at how blue my butt is, bro. Look at the blueness of my butt. You can't see it at that angle. It's 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 mildly blue, and I love it. All right, now let me go back to Firelink and level up. Or I lose these fucking souls. Have you played DS1? I have played DS1. Have you played DS1, Joe Knight? Can't get a good price on PC regardless. Ah, oh, that sucks. People want it free or not at all. I mean, I empathize with them, but also, fuck, that sucks. Because I don't want to pay for a pair of Pairs are expensive, and that's why I have to give it to me cheap, okay? That's how it works. And if you don't do that, then you're racist. Tried playing DS1 Remaster, got stuck on Taurus Demon. You got stuck on Taurus Demon, bro? He's actually pretty easy. You go up the ladder, you plunging attack, he's dead, bro. He's fucking dead. You kill his zombies, you just you just jump on his face, bro. You run back, and then you run back again, climb right back up, jump on his face. You can do it, bro. Like, I wish I had Dark Souls 1 on my PS4, and just so I could fucking show you. Like... <laughs> Taurus Demon. I, I would make a new character and speed run within probably like 10-15 minutes of Taurus Demon just so I could show you how fucking easy that boss is. Uh, he's explaining on how Lord Vessel was the first was in the first Lothic area. Oh yeah, I was going into lore and then um, 
what you call it, we just descended into start. I started killing things and I stopped caring about lore because, l listen, I'm a guy. That's what we do when we play video games. We usually stop paying attention to the story for fucking, for fucking action. We're like, story, who pays attention to the story is action time. It's fucking action. It's fucking, let's fucking, oh my god, well, pfft, I pressed R1. This, shit's, this is sick. It's the best game I've ever played. Oh my god, I pressed direction and R2 at the same time. Do you see this? Do you see just regular R2? Do you see jumping attack? But I did it from the steps. I'm gonna do it right now. I did that. I got distracted, and I stopped paying attention to the story. <laughs> oh, man. If I played 3, it'd be my gym. It's my jelly gym. Oh, which Dark Souls do I like better? Oh, that's, uh... Huh. Um... So, Dark Souls 1... had a lot that I liked and a lot that I didn't like. Um... So the first time I beat Dark Souls 1, I beat it unpatched, because I was told that's an interesting way to play the game. Unpatched Souls is... Dark Souls 1 is uh, considered to be very hard. There were a lot of balance changes with Dark Souls 1 coming out. Um, people felt like you didn't get enough souls for kills in unpatched Dark Souls. People felt like you uh, didn't do enough damage. So they, they made some adjustments to make it easier. And I found that Dark Souls 1 isn't... Um, it's not... It's not harder, it's just different. Like, they're, like, you, like elemental weapons are the way to go, really, in Dark Souls 1, because they do all the damage, and you don't have to worry about um, stat scaling, because most stats don't scale with elemental weapons. Like, if you get a lightning weapon, it just does raw lightning damage, you know? If you get a fire weapon, it does raw fire damage. Um, so you don't have to worry too much about that. It's different, and I really liked it. I had a lot of fucking fun with Dark Souls 1, like a shitload. Um... I had a lot of fun in Dark Souls 3, so much so that I'm playing it on right now. Like, you're watching me play it, I'm having a blast. Um, Dark Souls 2 is definitely the black sheep of the series. And I I didn't enjoy it, but I feel like I would now. Like, I was, uh, I was a different player of video games when Dark Souls 2 was out. I've always been a hardcore, I've always liked hard games and stuff like that. But, um... I don't know, I was like this moany, whiny bitch like everybody else, like, why is the game different? It should play the same! Like, I was being a fucking asshole about it. Um, I feel like I, if I played it now, if I picked it up, I might be more forgiving. I don't know. But, um... I don't have good memories of 2. At all. I, I remember not even knowing what adaptability was, and what the, the agility stat was that gave you invincibility frames, um... on your roll. So I learned how to time my rolls perfectly. It sh I don't know if you guys have played Dark Souls 2, but that's hard with low agility. If you're not at the agility cap, that's just ridiculous. Uh, and that's what I was doing. And it, it caused a lot of frustration to get that good at rolling. Like a lot. Like a, like a lot. It took a lot of fucking practice and readjusting. I didn't like the change to parrying. Um, but I feel like now I could give it a shot and probably enjoy it. Just because when Dark Souls 2 came out, uh, we were all like, You are the successor to one! You must be in one's shadow. You must be better than one. How dare you? But since I have three, I don't have to put that pressure on Dark Souls 2 anymore. Since three is out. I don't know. This is a big question, bro. <laughs> it's a complicated question. It's a complicated question. Um, between one and three, probably three. I liked the improvements to gameplay in 3. I liked the the, the increase in pace, because they made Bloodborne before this, and they kind of adjusted the speed of the game to, to something similar. I really liked that. Um, I thought some of the boss fights were really cheesy. I thought Yorm was a cheesy fight. Um, I thought uh, the Ancient Dragon, where you just fucking plunging attack his head, was cool, but also really cheesy, kind of a waste of a boss fight. And if you're going to waste a boss fight, waste a guy in armor, not a fucking dragon. It's a dragon. Why would you waste a dragon fight? I thought that was kind of dumb. Um, let's critique Dark Souls while we play it. Um, <laughs> these fucking dogs over here. Look at this. Pay your taxes, dogs. What is this? No. You're not going to get me in an endless loop, dogs. Get out of here. Another big problem with Dark Souls 3. These dogs don't pay their fucking taxes. Um... But the thing is, I liked a lot about Dark Souls 1. I... Because uh, for a lot of us, it's our first Dark Souls, and you learn a lot about the story, it's your introduction to the lore, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's fucking hard to pick one, dude. It's really hard to pick a favorite. Um, probably three, though. Probably. I like that the magic bar was a thing. I, I like the FP bar. 
a lot better than I liked spells having uses and attunement raising those uses. I thought that was stupid. I didn't like it. I thought that was very anti-RPG. You know what I mean? I didn't like that. Yeah, I'd say three. Let me read chat, because I haven't read it in a minute. Oh, by the way, if you like streamers that don't read chat right away, then you'll love me. <laughs> That's why I was trying to 1v1 without jumping on him. That's how you do it, bro. Um, you gotta do that with your pants off with the ladies. Um, both of you just jumping in each other's faces with your pelvises. It's a fun game. Do it, bro. 1v1, bro. Or 2v1, um, if you're lucky, bro. That's fun, too. If I played like 3, it'd be my jam. My jelly jam. <laughs> One's massively slower than 3. Yeah, 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 three is, uh... Well, after you play three and you play fucking Bloodborne, one and two feel fucking slow. Like, really slow. Uh, it's hard to enjoy them. Oh, it's Yol of Londor. He's like, why? Why am I alive? Yes. Good talk. Good talk, Yol. Weird that so many people who liked Bloodborne liked Dark Souls 2. Really? I guess they're more open and receptive to change in games. I think now I'd probably be more okay with all the changes in 2. Um, that's weird that the people who like Bloodborne would like this one so much more. I mean, Dark Souls 2 so much more. Oh, I was trying to be clever. I'm backstab fishing an NPC, not an NPC, an enemy, a PVE, an NP enemy a v of a PVC, of a CPC PVV. Oh my God, what are acronyms? I'm so tired. Which is the mark that I should probably go to sleep. I should. But how many of us have been up way too late at night playing Dark Souls? You don't just quit Dark Souls. What are you? What, are you, what kind of? What are you a pansy? Quitting Dark Souls? What are you gonna leave the military? What's wrong with you? You hate America? You gonna quit Dark Souls? I wanted to use stuff like this more. Woo! Joust at me, bro. Good fight, bro. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Listen, guys. Termination, bro. Um... They're not that similar. They're not. That's the thing. They're not similar at all. Bloodborne and DS2. Let me read chat before I play more. Let me complete reading chat. That is as is my custom. Um, yeah, no, no. Fucking Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne, nothing like so. It's so weird that so many people like them. But you don't have to like all the same games, so that's fine. But that that is that is a weird thing. Um, I hated DS2. I did too. I, at the time, Joe. I hated it a lot. Uh... Hopeful for Elden Ring. I'm sure they'll knock it out the fucking park, dude. It's, 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 it's fucking, it's, it's, oh, it's gonna be so good. Like, I'm so excited that they're getting George R. R. Martin and, and Miyazaki, you know, like, it's, it's just, I, I so rarely get my hopes up. I don't get hyped. I don't give a shit about games like that where I'll see a trailer and I'll get into it. I have my hopes up for Cyberpunk. I have my hopes up for Elden Ring and nothing else. Like, I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. Can't stand the camera or the trash mobs in DS2. I can't remember the camera or the trash mobs in DS2. I can't remember it. I must have blotted it out. Um, it's a great bit of dialogue with Yol. It makes the ashes stess. Uh, makes sense. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. It, it, it makes you understand that you don't have to just link the fire. That as an ashen one, you can kind of do whatever you want. I like that conversation with Yol. Villagers. Oof. Words, son. Finish the playthrough, Touchy. Listen. Listen. 
People come here for my golden personality and my t my talks and my shitty chats, not for my gameplay. What am I? What am I? Epic with the with the Dark Soul? Do you look at my R ones, bro? This is what they're here for. They're fuck. Oh my god! Do you, who else spins like this? Do you see the stutter spin? Do you see this? Do you see this MLG stutter spin over here? Do you see? I think I'm gonna turn right. He's gonna try and backstab and fish me, but no, no. I, I'm, I'm I'm stutter spin switching. He sees the one hand. Boom. Parried. You're right. I have to finish the playthrough. Fucking. <laughs> It'll be okay, bud. It's it's all right. So, <laughs> uh, definitely many a late night with souls. Yeah, bro. This is fucking uh, souls. Players are nocturnal. I feel like all of us, every one of us, are night people. I don't know any of us that play during the day that are just like, oh, fucking, I'm a morning person. I wake up. I don't even need coffee. I wake up every day without the alarm, bro. Like, fuck, none of, no, all. We're all night people. Every one of us that plays these fucking games, <laughs> fucking sweaty tryhard games. That's us. From software really just shows their love for games they make every single time. Dude, the sheer amount of fucking work they put into their games is incredible. Even Dark Souls 2. Even 2. Even if you didn't like the gameplay, the story I thought was really good. I thought it was such an interesting take. Especially, like, pre-Dark Souls 3. Um... The hell was that? Okay. Uh, even, pre like, pre-Dark Souls 3. With, uh... Where, where you don't have, you know... Like, like they, they introduce you to the concept of linking the fire um, multiple times. Like, at the end of Dark Souls 1, Lord Gwyn is the first person to link the fire. And then Dark Souls 2, you learn that multiple people have linked the fire, and that Drangleic is um, where Lord Ron used to be, and stuff like that. Like, and and Magilla is is uh, basically Firelink Shrine. Like, there's all this cool stuff going on. Like, it, it kind of opens your imagination, and you find out this king is trying to find a way to keep the fire alive artificially without burning himself alive to do it, and he ends up a hollow, and there's the whole thing where his queen is a shard of a darkness from the abyss, and it's like the daughter of Manus, I think, is the official accepted lore from Vati Vidya. Like, it's, uh, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot going on in Dark Souls 2's story. They put a lot of fucking work into these games, man. And it, it, it pays off. Like, the, the, this this company wows me in so many ways. Like, I did some reading on Miyazaki. Did you know this guy didn't fucking play video games until he was 29? His parents forbade it because they thought it would fuck up his schooling. And he worked, like, some shitty finance job that he never fucking liked until he was 29 and joined From Software. Or in fucking armored core games and shit before he got his big break with Demon Souls. I'm sure all of you know that. I fucking didn't. Are you kidding me, dude? It's fucking ridiculous. It, it's, it's just, oh... Vati is so hard to listen to. He makes me sleepy. Uh, I think he's a good lore master. I, I don't think he does the voice very well, but a lot of people really like it. Um, I'm, I'm so used to very engaging lore masters, but he's he's kind of just... Um, Hello, I'm Vati Vidya, and I have a bit of a dreamy voice. I have one level of inflection. Putting emotion in my voice. I'll do it just with pauses, but I don't like to express too much because, well, we didn't want my <laughs> my emotional moods affecting the story and lore, no sir. Like, it's he's, he's, uh, he's a little flat for my taste, but um, he does the lore well, so I don't mind. You know what I mean? I had no clue. Dude, me neither. I had no fucking idea. I had no fucking clue. I had, like, no earthly idea that he was just a guy. He was literally just a guy. He used to read a lot, and that's why he makes these games so well. As I keep pointing out on my streams, when people are like, How are you so funny, Riza? How are you so well-spoken? How come nothing surprises you in these games? Because all of the best fucking story, all of the best fucking characters, all of the best everything is in books! That's what all of this shit is based on! And they're cheap imitations of the original! Read the books. Miyazaki read the fucking books, bro. He read mad books. He knew a lot about this shit. J.R.R. Tolkien is, like, one of his favorite authors, and rightfully so. I, I don't know if you've ever read a Game of Thrones book. They're fucking fantastic. Um, and, and like, that that's that's how he got to know all of this stuff so well. That's why you'll see, like, odd English words here, here and there that you would never normally see in fucking even American RPGs, let alone a Japanese one. Dude fucking read, like, reads, dude. He reads. He reads a lot. And uh, because of that, he knows the good stories. He knows his shit, and that's what, like, 
empowered him to make all this interesting stuff. Like, he made a bunch of games about the concept of death being a goal. Think about that. Like, like that's so fucking cool. Like, that blows my mind. It, it's so interesting to me that a fucking random came out of nowhere and, uh, fucking changed the game, son. Forever. How many games since have been Dark Souls-like? Especially this fucking year. Look at the Star Wars game everyone loves this year, dude. It's a this knockoff. It's fucking crazy. Lol, that impression. Listen, when I try to do an impression, I go for an exact mimicry. I don't like to exaggerate. Because the thing is, if you go for lampooning, or really, it's, it's just, um... What's the word? Fuck, what's the word? I'm missing... I'm so into the impression that I'm not even thinking. Um, um... Parody. If 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 you go for lampooning or basically parody, you're you're doing a disservice to the source material. And on this channel, I try to do that. And listen, if you disagree with me, please just stab my mother in the face and put a dislike down there. But I'd really like to know what you think. It's fucking. He's 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 an interesting character, that Vati, with his um. My cat doesn't love me, but I love her voice. You know, like. <laughs> He's, he's got an interesting voice. I, I think it's cool, I just don't think it's good for, like, lore crafting. I would, I would hire him as an advisor on my council, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but, uh, I wouldn't have him inspire men in battle. You feel me? You dig? You fucking alcoholics. What is wrong with you? Come at me, bro. Um, I wouldn't want to sound bi biased, uh, adding joy or lament to my comp. Yeah. <laughs> Tolkien was Lord of the Rings, baby boy. Martin was Game of Thrones. Oh, man. Tolkien was Lord of the Rings. Martin was Game of Thrones. Listen, you don't know anything. I'm fucking half awake, bro. I actually have an issue with the new Star Wars game. I finished the main story in eight hours with no help. Too short. I heard it was, yeah, I heard it was too short. I have over 75 hours on one character in Dark Souls 3. Just Link the Fire in the second journey. My playtime on this character is... 86 hours? Though a lot of this is joining other people and getting summoned and stuff and fucking about. But and this is new game plus one, dude. I know what you're saying. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to be done. This is... This is just a... Fuck, this, this series is so good. Because I can. I, I didn't even need to do that, but because I can. And I acted like I'm the shit because I got it on the second parry, not the first. Listen, you didn't see that. It was perfect. I am perfect. You didn't see that either. I forget what's here. Oh, that's what's here. Okay, we'll go here later. Also, who watched The Witcher and wants to toss a coin to their Witcher? Oh, Valley of Plenty. Oh, Valley of Plenty, second time, and then oh, oh, oh. Because I, I, I fucking watched The Witcher, and I love The Witcher 3, and um, I kind of want to really fucking finish that game. Like, I beat the main story twice, but the second time I played the game, I got the DLCs. I beat Hearts of Stone, I'm at the beginning of Blood and Wine, and I haven't touched it in a really long time, and I watched The Witcher, and it really makes me want to play the game and fucking learn how to sing, just so I can sing that fucking song. Like, I'm sure everybody else is doing, like an obnoxious asshole. Because fucking, oh my god, The Witcher was so good. Because that's what I do, bro. I stream Dark Souls and I talk about The Witcher. What's weird about that? How is that stupid? Fight me. Oh, wait. I was gonna go that way. Yeah. Oh, you guys are chatty tonight. You can narrate a Nat Geo documentary. He'd be fucking great for a Nat Geo documentary. Dude, Vati would be amazing at that shit. The jaguar is tending to its young, as is its wont in the winter. I would give him a night sword, but he can't hold one. In the description of this item, it refers to jaguars 
as um, I ran out of Vati to make fun of, um, or or lampoon, ha 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 ha. Uh, but no, he I, like all jokes aside, he actually could probably be really good at that shit. Somebody should tell him that, and he'll be like, ha, whatever. I'm gonna play this game and get paid to do it. You out of your mind? Think I'm gonna go in the wild, get eaten by a fucking jaguar? Or I could be over here getting pussy playing Dark Souls. Uh, I'm gonna be wrong. Star Wars: Fallen Order was great. Gameplay was great. Story was great, but holy nuggets, it was short. Oh, okay. Um, I I was on the fence about getting it. I decided I'd get it once it's on sale for like thirty dollars or some shit. Um, I don't want to buy it for sixty because I feel like it's not a sixty dollar game. Everything I've heard about that game, oh, and you can do all this extra stuff, but all the extras is customizations, and they're not even good customizations. And I was like, well, that's fucking stupid. That's just filler. Um, put some put some heart into your game. Put some some work into it, bro. Don't just make a Dark Souls clone. I heard the story wasn't, like, terrible, but it also wasn't great. Not to turn off to me. Because if you're going to make a Dark Souls, make a Dark Souls, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> only saw one parry here. That's, oh, blue. I love you, bro. That's that's why you're here, bro. That's why you got the blue wrench. That's why you're the man. That's why you're my homie. That's why we fuck tomorrow on your stream. Um, if only they made the new Star Wars movie with the mu as much attention story. Fuck that movie. Uh, so I have a confession to make. I have only seen the first two trilogies of Star Wars, and I haven't seen any of the new ones, because, uh, fuck Star Wars, for story, specifically. I thought the story in the first trilogy was really good, I thought the prequel trilogy was dumb, and I grew up and watched Star Trek like a fucking man, where all the stories are much better, and the dialogue is better, and the concepts are better, and the characters are better, and the actors are better, and everything is fucking better, except the special effects. And, um, I don't care about Star Wars, honestly. Like, <laughs> really, I don't give a shit. Everyone I meet loses their minds over Star Wars, because I guess it's their nerd cred thing. Because, uh, they're, they're casuals and they don't play Dark Souls. Um, but they're like, oh my god, fucking Star Wars, bro. You believe what happened to Ren? And I'm like, I believe, bro. I believe in Ren. I fucking believe. And they're like, what, what are you talking about? And I'm like, I totally saw those movies. Please don't ostracize me for being a young person who doesn't agree with your stupid young person views. Please don't do that. Please, please don't kick me out of all of the things, because I, I don't want to watch fucking Star Wars. Don't make me watch Star Wars. Don't you, Blue, if you fucking make me watch Star I swear to God, dude. We are fucking Dunyan Rings, if you make me watch Star Wars. Isn't there, aren't there more of them in here? I feel like there's more of them in here. I feel like... I feel like there are more of those little gray rat hooded guys in here. Fine, they're not. Supposed to fall down. Come at me, boo. Was not trying to kick you. Should that not give you a fall animation? Woo! What did we learn? Oops, that's not that's not what I wanted to do. Come on now. There we go. The philosophy's better. Crazy how Star Trek is for men. I mean, yeah. Uh it's it, it's it's I'd say Star Trek is more geared towards men because it asks really uncomfortable social questions. Uh which girls generally don't like to do. Girls like to not rock the boat too much. Girls like progress, but at a comfortable rate, whereas guys are like, No! Breakneck speed! Now! Offend everybody! Progress! Like, that's just how we were dicks. Really, is what it is. We're assholes about it. Um, it, it is it is a very guy-centric franchise. You'll notice that if you look at the fucking fan base. Uh, it's changing now in recent years, which I, I think is pretty cool. You meet a lot more girls that are into Star Trek. Uh, more, more than you would think. It's a lot. It's a fucking lot, and I think that's cool. But uh, I'm a Trekkie, bro. I, I don't really care about Star Wars. They're like, oh man, did you see the movie? The Han Solo movie. I mean, the, 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 the Lando and Han Solo. Oh no, it was bad. I'm like, well, there's only one Han Solo. And that nigga's like 80, so. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, fucking, that, that, like, I don't care. I don't care about Star Wars anymore, dude. Like, I, I don't have that, um, that passion for, I hope it's good. Oh, I forgot about Hodrick. Oh, this dude is so hard. Hold on, let me go get this bonfire. Before I catch these hands. Alright, let's go. 
I watched Star Trek before Star Wars and still enjoy Star Wars. I wish I could do that, bro. You'll see, I really, I fell asleep with a lot of wars. I, I fall asleep with a lot of wars as well, bro. But no, like, I really wish I could watch Star Wars and still enjoy it. I, I watch Star Wars and I'm like, this whack shit. Like, I just, I don't, I'm not into it anymore. I'm really not. Like... The fact that there's a light side and a dark side to the force, that and like that that duality of morality stuff turns me off. The good and evil shit turns me off, turns me way off. That's what I like about the Witcher and stuff like that, is there is no good and evil, it's just people doing things. And usually humans are the monsters. A little early on the parry there, okay. Uh way early on the parry there. That was good. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. I can parry the world. I, I gotta stop parrying like this is fucking Dark Souls 1. There we go. <laughs> I got fucked. Oh my god, I got fucked. Oh lord. Oh, it's just... Oh my god, that's what I get. I fucking charged an R2 like a scrub. Oh my god. I can't believe they they gave him parries like that. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I can't wait to rewatch that. That's fucking... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I do too, bro. I love that. <laughs> Why is Hodrick? Oh yeah, Hodrick is the NPC summon here, bro. He's the mad spirit that fucks with you. He wants you dead because you took his... um His Cheetos? I don't know. I forget what it is you did to Hodrick that makes him want to attack you. Oh, he's from the Vertebra Shackle people. He's the, uh... He's with the, uh, the Mad Spirit. I forget the name of them. The Burrows, the Dens, the... I forget what's... You know what? I could just look at this. It's, I have, I'm sure I have the emblem for their covenant. Uh... He's one of the Mound Makers. There you go. Malformed version, Vertebra Mad, with a queer symbol on the inside. Proof of Shackles of the Gods. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Mound Maker's Covenant, this Mound Maker's wish only add to their mounds, becoming the Mad Spirits, whether summoned as co-op or invaders, they are blithe to those around them, for in their minds, as they kill, might lead to... Any kill, it lead to another shackle. Oh, okay. Good for you, bro. Indeed, Joe Knight. Wow. Hodrick is Cirrus's grandfather. Oh, I didn't know that. Cirrus of the Sunless Realms. That super holy nice lady. And her grandfather is a fiend. Is he aiming for me? Uh, that, that, oh, I don't think he is. Okay. I guess I have the item from the first playthrough. Please, go on and kill my enemies. Moonblade lady, yeah, you doing her quest gets you the cat ring. I remember her. Please kill all of them for me. Alright, I got the parry timing back again. There you go. Thank you. Oh, he can hurt me. Okay. <laughs> I'll just roll it. Got it. Parrying things with a shaky screen is really easy. Said no one ever. You dick. That's the scythe. I believe. I think it's the scythe. Correct me if I am war wrong. Great scythe. I am war wrong.
He's aiming for anything that moves. He's indiscriminate. Oh, okay. Oh, I could do this fight right now if I want to. I don't want to do all this exploring. I remember distinctly not liking this part of the game for replays and having to go through all the places and do all the things. I don't want to. Let's beat that. Let's beat up this tree. Let's get it. Let's fucking get it, bro. Let's put down a summon sign for no reason and then walk over here. Uh, you already have the covenant. It blocks. Your mom has a covenant blocks. And really, I do? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Forgot about that. You can kill enough of them. The fight starts, I believe. That is a grave and not a person. and I wanted to get hit. That was my intention. That is how you beat the fight in the first place. You can't beat the fight without getting hit, bro. Only noobs do it without getting hit. So that hurts. Made your balls explode, bro. And then your feet. What else you got that I can kill? You're on your thighs right there? Oh, they're not exposed yet. Let's do it. This is tense, bro. Will I make it? Will I not? This is scary, guys. You can't run, Charles. You can't run. It goes through you, baby. Oh, I have to just go in there and do it. Or you can do that. Go for it, buddy. And then you have to sit back up, and I'll stab your butt. Terrifying fight the first time you do it. But then you learn the fight and you're like, whatever. Thank you for the homework bow and real Hodrick. I think this is the shrine, right? Yeah. Sacrificial altar. <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh my god. Yawning real heavy. Maybe I should turn this game off. Uh, only difference story of, uh, beating. Although the flame plate ring is still legit, acquire for f ease of future bosses. It is a good one, but I don't really need the flame plate ring. This boss is gross. STD tree. 
Because flame plate rings and stuff like that are good for defense, and the good defense is your fucking circle button. That's your best defense. Uh, don't know if anyone else has had this experience, but I can't count the number of times I beat a boss the general ease once. But they're never that easy again. Um, for me in Bloodborne, this Miko Lash, the first time I beat him was like a joke, like it was nothing, and then I learned he's like the fucking hardest fight in the game, to the point where it's like unfair. <laughs> Uh, but in Dark Souls 3, um, fuck, that's a good question. Beat a boss, general ease, but after that it was a problem. Um, I had trouble with Vort, uh, I had trouble with, everyone has trouble with fucking, um, Yorm the first time if you don't know what the gimmick is. Um... Where did I have actual trouble? Uh, after the first time. I am rolling right into all of those. <laughs> what am I doing, dude? Um, I'm thinking instead of playing, Living Failures comes to mind. Yeah, I destroyed that fight the first time, and then... Every time after that, I just have trouble. I, I don't know what that was about. And I destroyed it on a fucking strength build, of all things. It's not even like I had, like, a... Like a 99 arcane build, and I was doing lightning magic. Like, none of that shit. None of that shit. Oh my god. Go down. I could've just ran past you. Why did I fight you? Uh, I bested them first try. No help. Oh my god, there is a lot. Dude, fucking living failures is a ridiculous fight. Um, what you call it? Um, Dark Souls 3. First boss, Cleric Beast. That's Dark Souls 3, right? Cleric Beast? Um... Oh. Yeah, you ain't gonna leave that house, you vampire, you. Um, what are the bosses in this game? Chris Ryder, Great, Greatwood, Greatwood, the Greatwood of the Kalishwaii boys. Um, Vort, Chris Ryder, Greatwood. Uh, fucking. You leave here, you go where Sigurd is, over there. You go to the Aerithal Knight, you kill him. You go to the Road of Sacrifices, you fight Crystal Sage. Crystal Sage is always easy. Um,. Then you have to fight Deacons. Deacons wasn't hard. Um... Why can't I remember this game? Jesus Christ. It's because I'm tired, Blue. Stop making me think when I'm tired. I keep telling you, you're a fucking asshole. I'm fucking tired. Like, don't make me think. You're a dick. My sister was right about you. Your mother's a bastard's curse. I rolled. And there'll be a doggy over here. I plunging attacks. And there's that way over there, up to that, in the, in the place, and at the time of the stuff and the things. And then there's this door over here that leads to sewers behind the dilapidated bridge that leads me a sick word of Katarina. Oh, blue, I'm, I'm feeling the yawns. But I want to keep playing. 
Also, I have work in the morning, so I shouldn't be fighting sleep at all. But, like, I'm tired, bro. Hello, raddies. Fuck with my stereo sword, bro. And let's see if I can just, just nail this guy. In the dark over there. Got him. Did not kill him, but got him. Fuck both of you. Oh my god. Crystal Boy, Deacons, this is a stupid fight, shortcut to fat rat. Your mother's a shortcut to fat rat. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'm thinking. Um, I think that's the sign, bro. I gotta call it a night. Like, I can't even, I can't remember the bosses. Do you know how many times I've beaten this game? I can't remember the fucking bosses. Let me take my ass to Firelink and go to sleep. I got more- I- I was supposed to stream for like an hour. But then you assholes had to make it fun and interesting. How dare you be friendly and- and hit me with your friendship of the friendliness. Thank you all for joining me. <laughs> uh, if you like the sound of my voice for some reason or had fun, you can look at the sound of my types. I do typings. I put the typings in the Discord. This is the Discord right here. I am linking it. This is me saying that I'm linking it as I link it to link it in the linking of the linking it. Uh, feel free to join. Uh, if you have not already, Joe Knight, it's nice to see you. Blue Sheep, always nice to see you. ELC, nice to see you. Uh, Jiggy Jonathan 4000, uh, nice to see you. Uh, uh, William Titty Rape over there, I see you typing in my chat. Nice to see you as well. Uh, everyone have a good night. Um, the real and fictional people that I just greeted, uh, or said goodbye to. Uh, I like talking at the end of streams for extended periods of time for some reason. I'm, like, building up to the getting off, and then the second time to get off, I'm like, Hey guys, don't you like vanilla pudding? Isn't that shit amazing? Let's talk about this forever. Uh... <laughs> I think that means I don't like goodbyes, and I certainly don't want to do it, but I fucking have to. Um... Um, 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 um. Wait, let me, let me turn this off. I'll see. <laughs> I'll see you all later, man. Have a good night.